you to speak on Good Friday, the most holy day in the Christian calendar. That is a very offensive approach to Christians. Mr Didat admits the two faiths have fundamental differences, but believes public debate will lead to greater tolerance. In this vast volume, the name Muhammad occurs only five times. Jesus occurs 25 times, 500 percent more times the name Jesus occurs. He is the king of kings. Reverend Moyes has been invited to take the stage with the Sheikh during his Good Friday address. It's an invitation the Reverend has declined. A war of words has erupted this Easter between Sydney's Christian leaders and a visiting Islamic scholar. The Christians are outraged that the Muslim missionary has chosen to hold a public rally today. But this Easter has seen a religious war of words over a visit by a leading South African Islamic missionary. It has Christian leaders hopping mad. What's incensed Christian leaders about the visit of this Islamic scholar, quite apart from the message itself, is the timing of the event. Christians are incensed that Sheikh Ahmed Didat has chosen Good Friday, a Christian festival, to launch his public rally. Could you imagine what would happen if the Christians of the community took the Sydney Town Hall in the middle of Ramadan and started to deride Muhammad and indicate that the Quran is incorrect? But the man at the centre of the storm, Sheikh Ahmed Didat, doesn't know what all the fuss is about. To me, it is childish. By God, it is childish. I don't want to go deeper into that. It's, just, it's no sense. The Catholic and Anglican Easter messages centred on trust, violence and our descent into savagery. Progressively we are becoming an arrogant, ruthless, bullying society and that is not our inheritance. Promoters say he's bigger than television evangelist Billy Graham, capable of pulling crowds of 30,000. He's 78-year-old Sheikh Ahmed Didat, an Islamic scholar who spent almost 40 years travelling the world upholding and defending the Islamic faith. But it's his arrival in Australia during Easter, the most important time in the Christian calendar which has angered church groups while muslims believe in jesus sheikh ahmed says the bible is wrong jesus wasn't crucified this is enshrined in the quran it's a bona fide belief of the muslims that jesus christ was neither killed nor crucified we believe that god saved him from that ignoble death on the cross that nakedness on the cross god saved him and god took him up Today, hundreds of Muslim followers gathered in City Hall to hear the Islamic leader speak. But while his Easter visit to Australia has created controversy, Sheikh Ahmed says he's by no means anti-Christian. In fact, he's calling for a better understanding between Muslims and Christians. Let us have a dialogue. Let us talk. But Christian church leaders say they've nothing in common with this man. And I'm not sure that this really represents mainstream Muslim thinking. They're dismayed at the timing of the visit. It's disappointing that uh, you'd choose Holy Saturday to do something like this in a public place. We develop thicker and thicker hides to protect ourselves. And as we lose trust, we lose hope.
ഹീം <laughs> Mr. Chairman, and my dear brothers and sisters, I am grateful to God Almighty for sparing this old machine to be able to come across the Indian Ocean into a country which my people call Down Under. Yes, I know that's what you said, Down Under. The country Down Under. You know, the globe of the world, you say, this is the country which is Down Under. I don't know how you people manage to remain here, I don't know. <laughs> you are a people down under. So for the first time in my life, I had the experience of coming to your great country. And I enjoyed your hospitality. I'm grateful to your, to your government for granting me a visa. And the people that the way have, they have responded to me in every way, making life easy for me. I can never thank them enough. And I praise God that may Almighty reward you. then i have some unique experiences i have had in the last couple of days when i in the in 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 the uh, middle ages in europe they used to say see venus and die meaning that's the acme the greatest thing that you can see is venus you know the city on the waters the waterways it's venus in italy i think it is venus Venice. So see Venice and die. Now I can go back to my country and tell my people, see Sydney and die. <laughs> no, no. No, this is not just to flatter you, my brothers and sisters. 
by God, that's not my intention. I have seen something 